In today's video, I'm going to be seeing if I can creatively convert Julia into a sea monster in Minecraft. Today's video is going to be absolutely amazing, so watch till the end to see if I'm actually able to do this craziness. Don't forget to subscribe and keep notifications turned on to join the So as you can squad. all see right now, I am currently in my survival base. Now, this is a base where I get a lot of stuff done. Now, of course, as you guys can see right here, shout out to the notification squad winner. I can't read your comment in today's video, but whoever just popped up on the screen, thank you very much for that comment. So as you guys can see right here, Harold, our very friendly little, ki ch a very friendly little chicken, has said to us, okay, you know, today's task, you'll be making Julia into a sea monster. Be careful and creative mode is granted. So Harold, do you have any last tips or tricks? It's not gonna be easy. Well, that's completely fine. I don't mind doing something that's not easy. You know, making these videos is not easy. So as you guys can see right here, it looks like we already have an outline of what Julia is going to look like with our sea monster. So hopefully this is going to be our end result when we actually get ourselves a sea monster. So as you guys can see right there, the question mark kind of shows us, okay, what we're going to be looking like. And eventually at the end of the video, we're going to be seeing exactly how crazy she looks. So let's see what steps we have. So it says step one, we need to extract the DNA. Step two, inject the DNA. Step three, supercharge it with a potion and step four get your sea monster so four key steps and it also says that we have a button to start the timer now i'm not sure how long this timer is going to start for but i'm happy okay so let's press it and it looks like the timer has started okay so the clock is on so step one is going to be needing to extract the dna now if you're wondering who i'm extracting the dna from well think of it like this okay so boom okay julia isn't a sea monster and Luca is a sea monster, as you guys can all see right there. Now, of course, um, I need to actually put some more water in there because I don't want Luca dying now. Of course, as you guys can see, he's in his current sea monster form. But in order for him to stay like that, I need to make sure that the water is on him. So I'm going to be putting the water on him right. You can see right here, I've put the water in and Luca seems just about fine. Okay, you can't really see the water because of the texture pack, but I can guarantee you it is there. So if you're wondering, what are these two machines? Well, I'm going to need to extract Luca's sea monster DNA and inject it and fuse it with Julia, guys. Now, previously in my videos, I called her Guila, which was pretty funny, but I realized that's not her name. So as you guys can see right here, I'm going to be infusing Luca with, you know, Julia's sea monster DNA. Then eventually, we're going to be revealing the sea monster. So summer one, we need to extract that DNA from Luca, guys. So of course, we got to turn these machines on, okay? These machines are extractors and fusers. Now, of course, if you know about redstone, you know that when machines are actually on, they kind of light up. So I've got to get my redstone torches out um, and I've got to get my levers out, of course. And I've got to get, okay, some kind of, um, you know, redstones on the edges of here, as you guys can see. And of course, you guys know when you place a redstone block on a top of redstone, it actually goes off, okay? But we're not going to get into the technical side of things, okay? All we need to do, okay, is add ourselves a lever on both of these sides. Now, this is pretty dangerous, okay? So I don't want to be on this side of this, okay? So I've got to get myself onto this side. Got to leave space for the door, of course. But I've got to open up this area right here to some glass, as you guys can see. So I can actually see what's going on. So, of course, I'm going to get myself some redstone, okay? And I'm going to hook it up to Luca's one because we need to extract his DNA first. So, of course, I'm going to make it daytime as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add myself some redstone along here, okay? Um, and then I'm going to place a lever here. I think I should be able to get this done as long as I hook this up the right way. In fact, I'm not going to overcomplicate things. Let's just run a straight lever from there to there. Then, of course, for this one, when we're going to be doing that one, let's just run a straight lever from there to there, as you guys can see. So this one is going to activate the fusion and this one is going to extract the DNA. So this whole oh boy, guys definitely going to be an interesting one a one for the books for sure so what i've got to do okay in this one is i've got to extract luca's dna now i'm going to place a chest down so that you know the hopper can actually extract this dna so i'm going to place a hopper also as you guys know um, and this is going to extract luca's dna and place it into the chest below so if i go underneath here okay um the hopper i place it underneath like right here as you guys can see um, this is right underneath the block as I think. Okay, let me just double. In fact, if I double check, it's probably going to, you know, um, do everything out. But as you guys can see, there is water above it. As you guys can see the drops. I don't know if you can see the drops. Can you see the drops right there? There we go. Okay, so place the hopper down. 
place the chest down then hopefully okay in fact i didn't even place the i didn't even place this thing in the right place so place that down place that down that looks to be right i think i don't even know if that works but you know here we are guys okay so um what i've got to do right now okay is um yeah just press this and then i'll come and check the chest and then hopefully lucas dna will be in a jar so i'm gonna press this okay now it seems to be making some kind of noises okay so let's go ahead and check the chest so that has been running for not that long but let's go ahead and check okay if what's inside here is actually the dna sample i'm not sure if it's extracts and don't worry guys it was completely painless luca felt absolutely nothing so let's check what's in here and oh but there's nothing oh we got it guys our dna sample one as you guys can see if you look inside my hand you guys can see right here um that we have this dna sample so yeah it looks pretty cool um, as you guys can see and since i'm in creative mode i can actually place down a lot of them but that looks quite like it's some genetic material from luca so all i've got to do now is somehow combine this in it to um what's her name julia guys so julia i gotta combine this into julia so all i gotta do right now is uh, find a way to make sure this machine is active and then uh, start the transfer guys so the dna sample is here i'm gonna place this dna sample okay on this thing right here so what we have to do right here guys is place this into the chest in fact i need another hopper let's actually do this uh there we go okay so all i gotta do we gotta do guys is make sure that this fusion is ready now of course we're not gonna know if the fusion is correct what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pour water onto julia and then hopefully she turns into a sea monster um because yeah it's pretty dangerous guys but I'm going to, you know, make sure that she's absolutely okay. So what I'm going to do right now, okay, is I'm actually going to open this up, okay, and I'm going to plop the DNA sample in with her. So let's open this up, okay, put the DNA sample in with her. Then I'm going to close this up, as you guys can see. Then I'm going to place this on top, get myself the redstone, activate this again. And yeah, all I've got to do right now is I've got to wait for this thing to go right like this, guys. Okay, so this should work, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if this is going to work. But Julia, let me know if everything is okay because I am here to see if this works. Okay, so it looks like that is done. So now we've got the vital, vital test, guys. We're going to pour water onto Julia and we're going to see if she transforms into a sea monster. Okay, guys, are you ready for this? I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pour the water in. Okay, I'm in fact, no, we need to pour the water right there. And then, oh, nope, 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 nope. That's not what I meant to do, Julia what's going on okay julia i didn't mean to do this uh okay, so currently she is in there guys now i think it's gonna be a little bit of time before she actually transforms into a sea monster because it isn't an instant process she has to get used to the water but i'm gonna give it a couple of seconds and hopefully we should have ourselves a very own sea monster. Oh my gosh guys this is crazy did we actually do it oh my gosh guys she's actually a sea monster yo this is crazy guys oh my god okay let's open this up let's open this up oh my god oh my god okay guys this is crazy julia you gotta get out of here oh my god take the water to the top are you good oh my gosh are you good i can't believe you did it oh my gosh yes i did i did it. i can't believe myself oh my gosh this is absolutely crazy guys we actually made julia into a sea monster guys and luca is here chilling in his water loving it wow guys look at the similarities okay look at her skin it's very scaly does she have a tail okay she doesn't have a tail and luca kind of has a sea monster tail oh my god she doesn't have a tail do you guys think she's gonna grow a tail that is crazy guys oh my god i can't believe i actually made her into a sea monster that is crazy absolutely insane guys i cannot believe i actually managed to do this this is crazy julia i'm not gonna lie i'm oh i'm a sea monster now well i i didn't know that this was possible this is absolutely crazy guys oh look at this as well guys yo this is actually the real julia as a sea monster oh my gosh guys do they actually have the same look do they look the same i mean they actually do look the same they're both red they both have the same outfit on maybe the eyes do look a little bit different but that is pretty cool guys okay not gonna lie i did not expect this guys if you did enjoy today's awesome video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe i'm gonna see you guys in the next awesome video